Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? We have 4 raised to power x minus 25 raised to power x equals to 10 raised to power x. Then from here, let's rewrite this as 2 raised to power 2, then raised to power x. 2 raised to power 2 here is same thing as 4. Then minus here, we can write this as 5 square, then raised to power x. 5 square here is 25, then equals to on this side. Let's separate 10 as 5 times 2, then raised to power x. 5 times 2 here is 10. Then in the next step, we apply the law of indices. We interchange this power from here. Then this power of x affects these two numbers. And this will become 2 raised to power x, then raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power x, then raised to power 2 equals to 5 raised to power x times 2 raised to power x. Then in the next term, we have 2 raised to power x common here, also 5 raised to power x. So let a letter represent, so let a be equals to 2 raised to power x and b be equals to 5 raised to power x. Then from here, we can write this equation in terms of a and b. And this becomes a square minus b square equals to, here we have a times b. Then in the next step, let's divide both sides by b square. So we have divide this side by b square and also divide this side by b square. And when we separate this, we can equally write this as a square over b square, then minus b square over b square, which is equal to here, one of the b here, cancel b here, then we are left with a over b. Then from here, b square, we cancel each other, remain one here. Then, the square here common, we take it out, we have a, over b now, 4 square, then minus 1 equals to a over b. Now from here, a over b is common. Let's use a letter to represent a over b. So let t be equals to a over b. Then we can write this equation in terms of t, and this will be t square minus 1 equals to t. Then from here, Let's take t to this side and form an equation. We have t square minus t minus 1 will then be equal to 0. So when we solve this quadratic equation from quadratic formula, we have t be equal to minus into bracket minus 1. That's minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 1 square. Then minus 4ac. A is 1, C is minus 1, then all over 2A, that's 2 times 1. Then when we solve this from here, we have minus times minus A is plus, so we have 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square is 1, then minus times minus, we have plus, then 4 over 2, that is T, then T is equal to 1 plus or minus, square root of 5 over 2. So we have two possible values of t from here. First one we have t equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And also the second one we have t to be equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now from what we represented t as, we represented t as a over b and uh, we represented a as well as 2 raised to power x that means we have 2 raised to power x over b as 5 raised to power x then that means t can be written as power of x is common that's 2 over 5 then raised to power of x and of course this will be a number greater than 0 and we have a number greater than 0 here and we have a number less than 0 here. It means from this side, there won't be the solution here. Then from this 
other side, we put t, which is 2 over 5 raised to the power x equals 2. So we have 2 over 5 to the power of x now. We then be equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And by the time we take the log on both sides from here, we have log 2 over 5 to the power of x. We then be equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. So let's apply the power law here of log reading. x come to the back here. We have x log 2 over 5 then equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 divide both side by log 2 over 5 from here in order to remove this so divide by log 2 over 5 then log 2 over 5 cancel each other here then we are left with x equals to on this side we can use change of base and write it again and this will be log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then base 2 over 5 so from here we have the value of x in this our problem thank you for watching please share this video subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now